Here's what you will need for a composite tray setup. First, place the topical anesthetic in the injection site. From there, you will pass the aspirating syringe to the doctor, and then you will rinse and dry the mouth. We are then going to examine the mouth by using a mouth mirror and an explorer. We will then take the high and low speed hand piece and burrs to remove any kind of decay in our cavity preparation. You will also be using a spoon excavator as well. Once that is completed, you will then take the air water syringe and HVE to rinse and dry our cavity preparation. Since we will be working on a class 2 restoration today, we will need to place a sectional matrix band. The function of this is to replace missing proximal areas of the wall cavity preparation. Once the sectional matrix band is on, we need to take two cotton rolls and isolate our tooth. From there, if our cavity preparation is deep enough, we will need to place a liner and we will use Dical to do so. We will then take our etching solution and etch for 30 seconds, so be sure you have your timer set. We will then rinse and dry the area. Once again, we're going to take our cotton rolls and re-isolate our cavity preparation. From there, we're going to take one drop of our priming solution with a micro brush, which I'll show you here in a second, and place that into our cavity preparation. Taking the air water syringe and using just air, we are going to feather the priming solution. We will take a new micro brush and take our bonding solution and place that onto our cavity preparation and then take our air water syringe again using just the air to feather out the bonding solution on our cavity preparation. We are then going to move to our flowable material. This is to seal the margin, which helps to prevent post-operative sensitivity and secondary caries. We will then use the explorer to move the flowable material around the cavity preparation and then use the light cure to cure it. We will then take our packable composite and place a small amount on a small mixing pad. Take the material and roll it into a small burrito-like form. Taking the Woodson, which has a flat spatula-like end and a condenser end, we're going to take a little bit of the compactable material and place it into our cavity preparation. We will then take our burnisher to smooth out our packable material after condensing, and then this will also give us the chance to add any kind of anatomy we need to to the tooth. We will then grab the curing light and cure, once we are done curing, we will then take and remove our matrix system. We will then pass the explorer to the doctor so he can examine our new restoration. And finally, we will take the articulation paper to check the occlusion of our new restoration, have the patient bite down and grind their teeth from side to side, and once the doctor is content, wipe away any kind of blue or red material that is left.